Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about automatically mounting a network share on a Mac. So what you want to do is you want to go on the Finder, and then you want to connect to a server. So I'm going to click the Go menu, and then go to Connect to Server. And I have some favorites down here, but I'm not going to go over exactly how you connect to a server. Um, if you have questions about that, you can certainly leave it in the comments, and I might be able to help you out. But what I'm going to connect to is this SMB server on my Synology NAS. And so I have DS918 and then forward slash DS share. So if I hit connect here, then I'll click connect. And now I'm going to type in my password. And then I want to click remember this password in my keychain. And I'll click connect. And now we'll see it mount over here on the desktop. So if you don't have it show up on your desktop, you can go to the finder and then go to preferences menu. And then you'll see this connected servers here. You can use that to toggle if it shows or not. So if we want to automatically mount this when we log in, we'll go to our system preferences, then we'll go to users and groups. We'll click on our username, and we'll click on login items over here. And we will just drag DS share into this box. And there's some kind of weird bug here. It doesn't show up, but if I click on password and then click back on login items, it shows up here. So now we can close that. Now some other things you can do is you can right click on this and click make alias, okay? So if we do that and we close this or eject this share, we can double click on this alias and it will automatically log into the server. So that's a handy thing to do. So when you log in, it'll automatically log into your share. But you know, if you lose that network connection for some reason, it's just easy to have a shortcut there. Another technique we can use is if we're in a finder window, you can see these favorites here. We can just drag our share over to the favorites. Okay, and I'll eject it again. And now if we go over to our favorites, we can double click on this. And it'll take a second. And there we're logged in. And it has a little eject icon here too, so we can eject it. So that's how to auto mount your network shares. You can, and I threw in there a couple ways to make some kind of shortcuts to it too. If you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.